Welcome to our daily devotion. You are here today to hear the Word of God with His message, promises, command, warning, and application for us. Faith is to believe God's Word is the very essence of receiving the promises that He says we can have. As the scripture says in Romans chapter 10 verse 17, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. It gives us knowledge on how faith comes, by taking in God's Word. Our word for today is taken in the book of Matthew chapter 20 verse 28. The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. Message serve and move away from the selfishness. Put your foundation of this life with Christ and find that He serves everyone and that He did not come to be served. We are here for another. There is a great quote in today's devotion that states, Don't try to be interesting. Be interested. Some notes to ponder for today's reading. Yet I am among you as the one who serves. Luke chapter 22 verse 27. Ourselves your bond servants for Jesus sake. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 5 Never their superior. Paul said, I know how to be abased. Philippians chapter 4 verse 12 Paul's idea of service was to pour his life out to the last drop for others. And whether he received praise or blame made no difference. The chief motivation behind Paul's service was not love for others, but love for his Lord. Today we are reminded of the life of Paul and how he looks at his life and the service to the Lord. With all this said a burden was placed in my heart. Paul saw himself as the worst person there is with regard to how he treated the Lord and because of that no matter what the world does to him it does not matter. The burden that was placed in my heart was is this the reason why it is so easy for this generation including myself to disobey the Lord because we think we are in the right side of life. Let not the sense of a good life lead us away from the Lord. Let not this state lead us to think that even when we are not doing anything wrong, we have lived a life that does not harm others or did not do anything horribly wrong grants us the peace of mind that we will join the Lord in heaven. Good deeds does not save only Jesus. He is the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Him promise. We can only be saved through Jesus Christ, nothing else and no one else. The brief sentence, it is finished, translates from just a single word in the original Greek text. The same word was used by shopkeepers to announce that someone's bill was finally paid. When the final payment was made on a purchased item, the merchant would say, Tedalus Dei, it is finished. In other words, the debt was paid in full. We are here for another not for ourselves. We are here to give glory to God and serve everyone else. When we do this we not only give glory to God but also help another which would be a fulfillment of the two greatest commandments which is to love the Lord our God and love our neighbors as ourselves. Command. Serve others. No matter how hard it, it does not matter if we do not want the matter is we are obedience to the Lord. Do not let anything hinder us from doing the will of the Lord. Always focus on the Lord and our love for Him as this is should be the drive of everything we do including loving others. No matter what we have done, no matter who we are, 
Even when we have not done anything wrong or lived a good life, focus only on the Lord and the Great Commission we were commanded to do. All focusing and revolving and driven by our love for the Lord our God. Warning! The self is the harder to defeat but still, it is the self and it is always up to us to overcome it. We just need to will it and it will be done. We can do this, and the Lord will never allow anything to be encountered by any of his people where they cannot handle. Everything will be alright, if we are for him no one can be against us. There should be no excuse for us to not do the will of the Lord or obey his command. No matter how highly we think of ourselves and of our actions it should never be an excuse for us to not do what we are created to do. Application Be driven by the Lord. Do his will without excuses. Focus on the Lord and know that he is there to help us and that he will always be there to be our model for us to know what to do. Let's pray together. Oh God, thank you that Jesus has bought salvation for me. He has done everything needed for me to know you. I love you and serve you now and forever. Lord Jesus, thank you for showing us the way of serving, even when it includes suffering. Grant us the determination to be servants in your kingdom, not status seekers. For your glory alone. God Almighty whose holiness I can neither comprehend or approach I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for your plan to send him to redeem me and atone for my sins. I thank you for his faithfulness to you and to your will. I thank you for his courage and compassion as he died for me while being mocked, spat upon, and belittled. I want my life to honor his sacrifice. While I know I can never be worthy of such a great gift, I want my mistakes, sins, and shortcomings to be because I tried passionately to honor you, not because I grew lackadaisical in my discipleship. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for saving me. In the name of Jesus, my mediator who paid my ransom price. Father, thank you for blessing us with your message of hope and love today. With the Holy Spirit working in our hearts, we shall grow in our faith and ability to face unafraid each new day of our lives. How precious to us are your thoughts, O oh God. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you that we can live in your light and walk in your truth. May the things that you have revealed in thoughts that we have shared today dwell in our hearts and stir us into action. We ask all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. And the continues fellowship, power, and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen.